Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to talk about some drawing capabilities of the version 26. As you know, uh, the Bobcat system is a complete wireframe surface and solid modeler. Uh, the feature I want to talk about today is a swept surface and some of the options and advantages of utilizing a swept surface. Uh, in this example, I have this uh, solid that I want to work with and I have some uh, some profiled or contoured uh, edges uh, that I want to put on here and just using a, a fillet alone doesn't really describe the, the shape that I'm working with so uh, what we're going to look at is how to use uh, the swept surface and booleans to get the result we're after okay so what I'm going to do is uh, pull up my uh, sweet profiles and basically there's three parts to any swept surface that you're going to create. Uh, number one, you have an attachment point. And what this attachment point does is it attaches your profile, uh, profile number one, to profile number two. Okay? So, and this attachment point can be anywhere, uh, anywhere you like. In this case, I'm using this position right here. Okay? So you need an attachment point. You need one profile that you're going to have uh, swept around another profile. Okay? So, an, an attachment point and it doesn't need to be a point it could be a snap point and then two profiles and that's how you can create a sweep now um, one of the things that you'll notice is that this geometry is actually on different planes and uh, the geometry isn't uh, perpendicular to each other okay and that's one of the nice things about the swept surface if I go to sweep you know in this image it shows uh, the attachment point the first profile and the second profile um, but it shows them uh, intersecting with each other or, or perpendicular to each other um, that actually isn't the case it doesn't need to be that way and uh, that's a really uh, valuable function because it allows you to uh, draw everything in a top view and uh, uh, sweep it as necessary so really kind of neat thing uh, swept surfaces have kind of eluded me for a while it, it's been frustrating uh, from times to get them to do what I want where they twist and things like that but uh, uh, after just spending a little time uh, looking into them a little deeper I, I think I've unlocked the power of the swept surface and and I hope you will be able to as well after watching this video so again we have our attachment point we have our number one profile we have our number two profile so how this goes uh, is we're gonna go ahead and um, pick our attachment point okay and then I'm gonna pick uh, my first profile uh, I'm not concerned with the direction of the first profile but the direction of the chain that I select for the second profile uh, that definitely matters so I'm gonna pick this inside shape here and going past the midpoint of this arc I'm gonna to go to this side I'm gonna shift click and you're gonna see that I generated a swept surface okay this actually is a solid body that was created because it was a closed profile and you can see how this the cut of the profile is facing to the outside now if I undo that I pick my attachment point I select my first profile and then this time and you know I'm gonna go uh, clockwise with my selection shift click on this one you'll notice that it switches the side in which uh, the cutout profile is so the direction that you select that second chain will affect whether it sweeps to the inside or sweeps to the outside okay so in this example I want this shape to sweep to uh, the outside because I'm going to use this as part of a boolean function so I'll pick my attachment point I'll select my profile I'm going to select my profile number two and now I have my my solid body now what I'm gonna use this solid body for is I'm gonna take uh, this other body here and I'm gonna do a boolean function so I'm gonna do solid subtract keep this shape subtract that one and what this will do when it uh, cuts them is it's gonna give me this profile uh, on this inside shape here okay so now that you know we can repeat this process I mean there's a couple of things that we could do here um, after we've you know we swept the first one so we'll do it again surface sweep pick my attachment point shift click shift click spacebar 
Okay, so after we've generated the first one, we could repeat the process for the other ones, but in this case, you know, I have four of them, so what I'm going to do is just rotate 90 degrees, make three copies from center, pick up this shape, you know, and then now I've <clears throat> now I've just copied them out so I didn't have to uh, create additional swept surfaces. I'm going to create another one on the outside as well. So we're going to do surface, sweep, pick my attachment point, select my profile, select my profile. And again, now I have all the swept bodies. I'll bring uh, back up my solid and then we'll start doing our boolean. Solid, subtract, keep this shape, subtract that one and then that window's done. Keep this shape, subtract that one, and that window's done. And we'll just repeat the process around the model until uh, all of our bodies are subtracted from our primary body. And the end result is some pretty complicated uh, curvature uh, for this, uh, this shape that I'm uh, addressing here. So, you know, a uh, quick tip on uh, swept surfaces and how to use them. Very powerful function, really come in handy in a lot of scenarios once you know how to use them right. Uh, if there's any questions or comments or anything I can help with, uh, please reply back to the thread, the Facebook, or the YouTube page. Thank you so much, guys.